should I intro myself? I think I asked myself this question last year and I'll tell you, I'm not, I'll give you a, a small intro, which is just that I'm Katie. I've been your host with the most anxiety all day. And I am so honored and privileged to be here. And I thank Austin every chance I get for letting me bring my energy, a little bit of chaos and joy into this activity. We're keeping the tradition of closing remarks and I'm really fortunate to do it again this year. Austin works so hard on this event and it brings so many people so much joy, especially me. It's his birthday, so please, everywhere you can, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, happy birthday, Austin. <laughs> and I want you to know, whether you were here today for one talk or you were here all day, I am so glad that you're here. Last year, Austin and I wanted to make something that made us happy, that helped us work from home in a lockdown in a way that felt joyful and connected. I think that will probably be the mantra of this conference for as long as it exists. You don't need me to tell you it's been a hard year or that it continues to be a hard year. But I know a little bit about trauma and I know a little bit about anxiety. So I'm gonna give you just a few reminders as we wrap up our day. We're not the same. I'm not the same as I was this time last year. I cry a lot more. I tell people I love them more. I get anxious uh, when the park by my apartment has too many people in it. Like what, if, uh, you know, I'm, or if someone invites me to have a coffee outside, I think, oh, are they being COVID safe? Or what if I've forgotten how to talk and like have a beverage at the same time? And oh my gosh, outside pants. I forgot about outside pants. I'm not usually a hugger, but I want a hug, but also I don't want anyone to look at me or perceive me, but also please hug me. Because the thing is, trauma is complicated. We tend to focus on productivity as a measure of our worth at work and sometimes at home too. As someone with a lifetime of anxiety and trauma experience, I can tell you that I'm not productive most of the time. Like 80% of my life, I'm either coming apart or putting myself back together. Now, especially at work, you might be hearing that you need to be more productive. So many of the beautiful brains in my life have told me they're not doing great at their jobs or handling their personal lives right now. And I wish I could yell at every manager or manager's manager or whoever, how far over up the ladder I had to go. Of course, we're not doing great. We're doing pretty bad. <laughs> I wish I could kick the butts of every manager who can't find compassion right now, but since my calendar is still pretty booked, here's a few alternatives. Ask for help. Especially if you have a good relationship with your team, ask somebody to help you be accountable. We call this an accountability buddy. It's fun to say, it's fun to have. <laughs> find out what you can say no to. Say this can be your year of no. It feels great. <laughs> if you're doing the same amount of work you were doing this time last year, there's a good bet that it's too much. Set expectations with your boss, your coworkers, even your friends. Get a second opinion. If you think your job is asking too much, you're probably right. You are competent as heck and they are lucky to have you. You may not be the same. You may not feel like the best version of yourself, but you're not alone. We've lost a lot in the past year, but we found a few things. Maybe you found that it's okay just to survive. Maybe you found a new friend. Mine are all on Twitter. <laughs> Maybe you found a truth or two. Maybe you even found yourself. Maybe you found just one deep 
Thank you for being with us here today and absolutely every day. This community needs you because it's important to remember that you are here. And every day I am glad and thankful that you are, and especially today. That's the end of my closing notes and Austin and I are gonna move into a wrap up. Uh, this thing on? Great question. <laughs> Come up to the front, Austin. Time to get the selfie. Yeah. Get the event if, selfie. <laughs> if we don't do a selfie, were we even at a conference? Uh, well, <clears throat> oh, I didn't know what to expect when I did this last year, and uh, I didn't know what to expect when I did this year. And honestly, I think Katie would be the first person to tell you that there were no less than a half dozen times that I messaged her saying, like, oh, my God, this is such a mistake <laughs> to do this again because there's no way we're going to be... Like, you'll never be as good as the first time, right? Like, it'll never... You'll never hit those heights. And I don't know if that's true or not, but what I do know is that I knew from last year that if we could bring this many people together as a community of, you know, technologists, of academics, of people that care a lot about the world around us and the people around us so that we could do something more than just sit on, on a stream for eight hours and watch people talk about DevOps. And so I'm unbelievably thrilled to announce that we raised $6,238.89 for the Trevor Project today. Um, give yourselves the biggest Amazing. hand possible. Amazing, I, everyone. Oh my God. How did y'all do that? Um, and we're not done yet because every t-shirt, if you go into the Discord, if you go and look at the pins, if you're in Twitch chat right now, type exclamation point swag, um, Nightbot will tell you where you can go pick up a shirt. It's like 20 bucks, but 100% of the proceeds of that past the cost are also going to the Trevor Project so we can rack up another, you know, Maybe we can get that to 7K. Who knows? You got a week to put those orders in. Sign up on the website if you want a reminder. I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being a part of this. Um, there's less of you than there were last year, and I get that it's harder and harder to... It's hard to carve out eight or nine hours and watch a stream, but I know that every single one of you that's been here... You know, if you've been here since the start of the stream... You know, give us some hands in chat. Let's let's respect those people. Um, I want to say thank you to our sponsors. Oh my gosh, <laughs> sponsors! It's been so long since I thought about them. Yes, yeah, so it's been like at least five minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Lightstep for being kind of the primary. You know, I no surprise. I work there. They uh, generously allow me to kind of spend a month and a half working on this instead of my real job. So. Please uh, go enter their raffle for our speaker. Also, I'd like to thank Blameless and Bridge Crew, Circle CI, Honeycomb. Honeycomb specifically paid for our closed captioning, um, and they've been doing a great job. So, everyone in chat, give the closed captioners a shout out. Everyone in Discord, everyone in chat, like they've been doing great work all day and making this more accessible. Also, I'd like to thank Log DNA. I uh, think New Relic, New Relic uh, commission both generously allowed Sam Aaron to play that opening set this morning, which was great. But also, um, if you were listening during the breaks, at least three of those tracks were things that he specifically pieces that he composed just for us, just for all y'all out there on the internet. How about that? Amazing. Truly amazing. Austin, did you know that you can also 
go over to the Twitch channel of our designer extraordinaire, Melody. Oh my gosh, everyone needs to go over twitch.tv forward slash fuchsia hex. I believe I pronounced that right. Yeah. We'll definitely make sure that there is a Go give her a follow. Go sub. Uh, I don't know if she has. Actually, I'm. Don't sub, follow, whatever. But yes, <laughs> all this fantastic artwork. If you haven't noticed, the clock moves in real time. The t shirt design was her. Um, truly rad human being. So for all of your artwork and Twitch follow needs, go right over there. She and also all the overlays were her. So if you're listening to this and you need a Twitch overlay, uh, Hey, I know who to call. <laughs> Definitely. And I know some of the sponsors are going to do their raffles today. So if you entered one, make sure that you're paying attention so that if you win something, you can actually claim it and yeah. be the proud owner of something that I've been telling you about all day. <laughs> so did you know also anything Austin, else? Oh, there's one last know, thing. There's one last thing, which is that, Hey, the party's not over. The party doesn't have to stop here because in a little while on this very stream, we'll be hosting some tabletop games. Tabletop DevOps coming at you live uh, intermittently here on Deserted Island TV. So, yeah, give us a follow if you haven't already. There's not just Deserted Island DevOps. We do some other shows here, and hopefully we'll be adding some more. Um, yeah, come on, everyone come on up if you're on the island. Let's, let's give everyone a big wave. Come yeah, to the front. Let's get the, the group shot. Yeah. Ooh, now I have matching crowns. <laughs> Once again, I forget to give everyone party poppers. Uh, well, we or can all two emote. For two. Yeah, everyone emote, say goodbye. It's been an absolutely fantastic year, and who knows what next year will bring, but I believe this is one of the best DevOps communities that I've ever been a part of, so I hope that whatever it is, you all will be with us. Yeah. So, signing off. End of the day. Thank you all so much. And, uh, yeah, stay safe out there. And, you know, be kind. This has been Deserted Island DevOps 2021.